The government of the Republic of Palau, with assistance from the Asian Development Bank, or ADB, has successfully launched the country's Secure Transactions Registry. Um, the ADB would certainly like to um, congratulate the, the, the government of Palau, the FIC, and, and all the stakeholders that have been involved in this reform. As uh, Sam said, that the reform started in 2008, and it, um, the work was initiated and supported by the ADB because it was seen that uh, in, in Palau it was extremely difficult for people to uh, access finance using movable property as collateral. The system was complicated, it was uncertain, and altogether movable property really was not utilised um, as a tool for, for borrowing or accessing finance. Officially launched on January 7th, the registry is simple and easily accessible to the public. One of the great things about this uh, reform is that the registry itself is so easy to use and anybody can access it. Uh, Any time the collateral is pledged to stand good as a loan, there is a public record made of that pledge of the collateral. It's very much like doing a land mortgage where... Uh, The evidence of the mortgage is recorded in the land office. The same sort of thing happens with the movable property. Evidence of that pledge is stored in this online registry that can be searched by the public. The project, with support from ADB and the Financial Institutions Commission, or FIC, is anticipated to make it easier for people to access business loans using movable assets as collateral. And uh, it's a good project. It's a do a structural reform, and it's going to be something that uh, over time we'll see uh, much improvement on it uh, for in, uh, in terms of putting more money into our economy and having banks uh, hopefully lend a little bit more and, and consider their risks. The National Development Bank of Palau, or NDBP, has entered over 100 filings to the system since the registry went online, confirming that the new system is easy and user-friendly. Uh, it's user-friendly. We can go in and file um, a notice or make amendments, and that's what we've been doing so far. Uh, one thing to remember if you're a filer is to make sure that the information you are entering into the system matches the legal document or it will not stand in court. So that's why we've had to make uh, amendments on our end. And also that everything you put in the system will stay in the system forever. So be careful with what you put in as far as personal information, confident in- confidential information that you don't want the public to know. Although the registry has been successful so far, ADB will continue to work with FIC and the national government to maintain the system and make any necessary changes and improvements. Uh, The ADB uh, has supported not only the drafting of the law and worked very closely with um, stakeholders on that and the implementation of, of, of the new registry, but we will continue to support the implementation so that we'll make sure that if there are adjustments that need to be made, we make those. If the banks need us to work with them further or the FIC, uh, we'll continue to support the ongoing um, project um, over the next period.